Hey guys, I'm excited to see you again. So today let's read about and talk about Meet the Press Cars and the Cars 3 movie. And we are reading from Meet the Cars book. If you haven't seen it before, please check out my other videos from this book. And um, let's see. Surprisingly, you know, the first car in Meet the Press uh, section is Chick Hicks. Yes, in Cars 3 movie, he's a commentator along with Natalie Certain. So let's read about Chick Hicks' role there. His uh, vehicle type is um, 1979 Shyster Kremlin, of course. And uh, Chick Hicks retired from Piston Cup Racing and signed on to the Racing Sports Network to host his own show. Instead of cutting down opponents on the track, he now cuts them down verbally on his cable run sports show. Chicks picks with Ch Chicks Hicks. If you want the no real no hold bared commentary, Chicks is your car. So, well, let's read his uh, let's read his show name again. It says Chicks picks with Chick Hicks. So, and on that show, his um, partner is Natalie Certain. She's a really cool car. I love the way she um, talks about the races. And uh, Natalie Certain uh, vehicle type is Evolve, Evolve Motors Prova Qantas 4S. Natalie Certain is a highly respected statistical analyst who judges strictly by the numbers. She's incredibly book smart but has limited practical knowledge in the racing world. She places more confidence in mathematics than in the passion and determination of a true car. So her calculations are pretty like accurate. She might say Jackson Storm's chance to win is 98.2%. But, yeah, he didn't win that race. Okay, so here we have Brent Mustang Burger. And uh, his vehicle type is 1964 Ford Mustang. Brent Mustang Burger is a racing sports network, RCN, broadcasting icon. With the self-proclaimed best stall in the garage, the excitable 1964 Ford Ford Mustang is widely considered one of the most recognizable voices in the history of automotive sports television and is associated with some of the most memorable moments in modern sports. He's followed McLean's career around the world and back and can't wait to see what happens next as the next generations change up the game. He will be at the Piston Cup reporting how it goes down. Okay, and our all-time commentator, Daryl Cartrip. Of course, his vehicle type is 1977 Monte Carlo. Daryl Cartrip is a southern gentle car and ex-Piston Cup champion, so he knows what it takes to, to win. He is in the Racing Sports Network booth for every major cup event, calling the play-by-play -play and adding humor and personality to the commentary. But when the racing flag drops, he's all business. That is until he shouts his signature, Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boys! So that was Daryl Cartrip. Okay, let's read about Bob Cutlass. His vehicle type, 1998 Saxon GTSC Grand Touring Sports Coupe GHI. Bob Cutlass is a world-renowned sports announcer. He covered every sporting event from tractor pulls to monster truck rallies, including the last three auto games. But he's most famous for teaming up with former Piston Cup racer Daryl Cartrip to announce Piston Cup racing on the RCN which is Racing Sports Network, Bob Cutlass is the voice of reason to Daryl's enthusiastic and colorful commentary. Now let's read about Corey Turbowitz. And uh, Corey's vehicle type is 2005 Luxemobile Animatic. The smoky-voiced 
Corey Turbowitz started her career as a voicemail operator, but her delivery of "You have three new messages" was spoken with such flair and irreverence that the next thing she knew was the number. One morning show host on the radio in the Bay Area, as well as one of the top Piston Cup reporters on television. Okay, right here on this page is we have a big image of reporter Shannon Spokes, and Shannon Spokes vehicle type is 2016 Saxon GTSC. So his he's a really new model. On the track, reporting is what Shannon Spokes does best. Always in the middle of the action, she is known for weaving her way into the trickiest of interviews and shines as a racing sports network pit road reporter. She asks the tough questions and does in the moment interviews in the pits and on the track. If there is a big success or a big mess, just look for Shanna. She is the one in the stylish headset. All right. Here we have Tim Rimmer, and Tim Rimmer vehicle type Axello Integrity. That's the first rule for any decent member of the press. Tim Rimmer is not a decent member of the press, though. He's a tabloid photog- photographer for a local supermarket rag. But even Tim wouldn't give Chick Hicks the satisfaction of having his photo taken while he celebrates. His stolen piston cup win. <laughs> okay, and over here another operator is Chuck Choke Cables. Chuck Cables hails from the Midwest, but somehow found himself in California covering the biggest race of the season, a live telecaster for 20 years with the Plainville Pavement Press. He recently made the jump to RC RSN and became one of the hottest not so minivan camps on the news team. And、uh, his vehicle type is Pablo Loco Lugnutter. Okay, this helicopter right there is Ron Hover, vehicle type Whirly Bird Lift a Lot. During the week, Ron Hover is a news chopper for CRSN. But when he's not covering a big race, he's covering a big fire with thousands of gallons of water. Ron is a volunteer firefighter in Sonoma County, a thrill seeker by nature. Ron loves the excitement of his work and enjoys helping out his community. Houser Boone, Houser Boone's vehicle type, Crown Celesta. Houser Boone was the first photographer to coin the now famous phrase. Show us the bolt. He called it out at a press event, and Lightning McQueen actually turned right toward him and flashed his million-dollar lightning bolt. It was indeed a proud moment for Mr. Boone. If he'd only trademarked that phrase, it could have retired 20 years earlier. So that was his favorite phrase. Okay, on this page we have Dan Sklarkenberg. Dan Clarkenberg's vehicle type: Park Motors Perk EX. Dan Clarkenberg knows news, and knowing news like Dan knows news allowed Dan to cruise for new news that might not be known. Naturally, knowing news as soon as Dan knows news puts him in the know, and since he knew it when it was new, and it is thus able to report it now, then yes, Dan knows news. <laughs> So he's one of the first people to make news, or I mean the first cars. Okay, Bird. Bird's vehicle type is Dutch Fu- Futuro. Someday, when Bird finds a gallery that understands his abstract motion blur photography, he will finally be recognized as the true artist that he is. In the meantime, though. It's his job as a paparazzo that pays the bills, and yes, paparazzo is the singular of paparazzi, and yes, it means oversized mosquito in Italian. And Cora, Cora Copper, vehicle type, Axelo Rapido Si. Cora Copper is one of those news hounds you never want to tangle with, especially if you've got something to hide. A tireless. 
Some say ruthless investigator. She's uncovered dirt on the cleanest circuit racers. Anything that will sell copies of her paper, Auto Van Empire. That's her. She likes to dig deep. And David Hopscap. David Hopscap. Uh, his vehicle type 1963 Jaguar E type lightweight racer. And originally from Royal Leamington Spa, England, David Hopscap is a worldwide racing luminary. His 30 year career in professional racing spans the globe as well as all types of motorsports. Now, David shares that priceless knowledge as a race announcer who is well known for providing comic relief during broadcasts. A former champion with 20 starts at 24 Hour of Le Mans, his storytelling comes from personal experience. And on the last page, we have Chuck Manifold. Chuck Manifold vehicle type, Capital Motors. And Chuck Manifold started out in the news business as Barry Pipe and Lou, but when he started covering the racing scene, he knew that he needed a name better suited for the tough nature of the circuit. As soon as he started reporting as Chuck Manifold, his career took off faster than a drag racer a green light. And the last uh, race staff uh, press member is Skip Richter, and his vehicle type, Brawny Motor Company. Shindig SR. Skip Richter has been reporting about the racing scene for years. After doing volunteer radio broadcasts of race day action in college, he got an internship at a local television station. He soon made his mark with he soon made his mark with the launch of his weekly race recap entitled The Race Machine, which he now can be seen in 23 cities. All right, guys, that was all about Meet the Press members. And in my next video, I will read you about the World Grand Prix racers, the international racers, uh, all the way from Francesco Bernoulli, Jeff Corbett, and other interesting cars from Cars 2 movie. So thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.